Third person camera. Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be teaching you how to make a third person camera similar to this that we've got going on. This is going to be used if you want to be making a, maybe you want to make a Link's Awakening type game where you've got this, this camera uh, layout, or maybe you want to make a third person shooter, maybe a puzzle game. There's all sorts of possibilities that you could do. So let's show you how to make it. Again, if you'll have watched the previous video on the first person camera, this is very, very similar. So our left stick is gonna use up, down, and left and right. Down the up and down is gonna be for forwards and backwards on this person. And the left stick, left and right, is gonna be the left and right of the person. So we've got the movement of the person that we're gonna be using, and we want to link the person to the camera. Again, similar to the other video that we've done for first person. Now we've got the camera there and now we move the camera with the up and down and left and right stick. With the up and down, left and right on the right stick. So up and down, we'll move the camera up and down. Left and right, we'll do horizontal. Now, if we go into camera settings. Now we talked a little bit in the previous video about these distances and the positions, and that is offsetting the camera to the person, because the person's linked to the camera. So what that'll do, we've got 20 meters there. Now, if we make that Y to five, now when we go back and we play the game, you can see it's lowered the camera. You can see there, but I can still move that of the up and down buttons. So if we go back in, go back to settings, we change that from five back to, what was it at, was it 50? Can't remember now. What was it? Let's go 50. It wasn't 50, maybe it was 25. So what we're going to do is we're going to go put it at 25. Now, depending on the type of game, you're going to be experimenting a lot with this. There you go. So that looks like a nice three quarters top down view. Maybe we want to do it at 20 now as well. Right, there we go. There we go. So on Link's Awakening and all the other Zelda games, you can't really move the camera. So there you go. So I can move the camera now with the right stick. And if you don't want to be able to move the camera, say we don't want to move the camera up and down, we just take away that control there. So we can still move it left and right, but we've got no control on the up and down axis. And then again, if we want zero control whatsoever i cannot move the camera now so that's a very good fixed camera angle for maybe a zelda game let's do the undo and get them again we're going to have the person linked now if you go into the person and go into the settings now on a first person view we had the person invisible. On this one, we want them visible, obviously, because we want to see the person that we're doing. Now, you can also overlay sprites, and you can do custom graphics, you can do pixel art, and you can link that to a person. And we're gonna be we're gonna be going over that in future videos. You can also do animations and you can do you can change the sprite depending on if you're running, depending on if you're jumping, all sorts of different things. So Make sure you hit the subscribe button as we go through all the different things you can do in Game Builder Garage. Again, like I'll just add, you've got a jump button there. This is this is all pretty uh, obvious sort of stuff, but you can put an A button there. And you can more or less just, you, you, this is pretty much, there you go, jump. Now when I press the A button, the character will jump. Camera will not change direction if you if you have them gone. To recap. 
also experiment with these distances and the sizes depending on the type of game that you want to do. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you again next time.